Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Yes, I'm sitting in front of an HP TouchSmart PC, but it's not running Windows Vista. And this is important given the date of this particular recording at live.perillo.com. It's running Windows 7, at least beta build 7000 as released by Microsoft a few days back. I knew it was out because hundreds of you came pouring into the chat room asking what I thought about Windows 7. You may have caught my initial impressions after running Windows 7 Beta 7000 inside of a VMware Fusion virtual machine. That was an appliance that I downloaded uh, from VMware.com. Uh, well, now I have installed Windows 7 full on here on this HP TouchSmart PC that I have uh, well, sitting right next to me. And for the most part, it's running fine, as expected. Uh, I wasn't able to get Windows 7 to recognize all the hardware. I did have to in try installing Windows 7 two times. The first time, something got messed up. The second time, I did the exact same thing, and everything seemed to work fine. Uh, got the video drivers to work OK. The only thing I really can't get working right now, even after trying to download uh, third-party drivers, is the multi-touch experience that apparently the HP TouchSmart PC is capable of. So my initial thoughts are very positive. Uh, as I said, I was expecting this to be a very good upgrade from Vista, and I've only had maybe a few hours to play with this uh, so far and um, many of the things I was not expecting to have changed have changed uh, for the better. Uh, a lot more features have been fleshed out. Uh, there are a few things that I think are going to plague Windows, uh, well almost indefinitely, uh, namely the fonts. I see Tahoma replete throughout the OS and that is a huge UI oversight and for that reason that reason alone, I, I could never consider the Windows experience, even if it's full on arrow, nothing more than a beta. Uh, I don't think any self-respecting designer would release an operating system that had uh, both the use of, well, I should say not just both, uh, the use of MS Sans Serif, Tahoma, and Sego UI uh, throughout uh, common Windows elements. It's kind of uh, sloppy, uh, so to speak. But uh, if you can look past uh, some of those issues, then I think Windows 7 will be a very good upgrade for you. It is certainly more snappy than Vista. Uh, there are uh, things that I've noticed are a heck of a lot faster inside of Windows 7. Like when I plug in a USB device, it picks it up almost right away. Um, there doesn't seem to be much lag, if any at all, uh, when I do a cursory search either inside the Windows Explorer or from the uh, Windows 7 Start menu. Um, a lot of the things that I've appreciated are the things that they've, uh, you know, seen through. Uh, a lot of what we saw in Windows Vista has been taken out even further. That is to say, they've added even more functionality without overwhelming the user. And for power users, uh, that's an awesome thing to hear. And if you are a power user, well then my recommendation is that you download Windows 7 beta, well at least the latest beta that Microsoft is making available and start using it, giving it a shot. I don't know if I'd recommend using it as a primary desktop operating system, but if you have a system lying around, a knock-around system, then certainly it, it is worth trying. Uh, I do hope to cover some of the more interesting features that I'm finding inside of Windows 7, a uh, small series of sorts, uh, preparing people for what Windows 7 will be. Uh, it is not enough to get me to stop using Mac OS 10. that's just me, uh, but I think it's going to be a good upgrade from XP and certainly from Windows Vista. Uh, it remains to be seen how much support is going to be out there for uh, this particular version of Windows, but it's almost like an incremental upgrade from Vista, and I've had a few issues with software, certainly drivers as well, uh, but I hope that most of the, uh, the common um, titles out there, or the more common titles, will be compatible with Windows 7 when it ships. Uh, if it runs on Vista, the chances of it running on uh, Windows 7 are pretty good. Uh, not uh, excellent, but uh, certainly uh, I'm sure the community will kind of come to your rescue if you're uh, running into a, a few headaches. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's an excellent experience, even without multi-touch on the HP Touch Smart PC. I'm trying to do multi-touch right now and it's not working quite well. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's quite, uh, um, complete. More, it feels so much more complete than Vista. This feels like 
what Vista should have been. Like, it, it is a bigger upgrade from XP than Vista was. Um, I'm not going to say there was a lot of wow factor. I just think that they've taken their time with a lot of the features inside the operating system. Uh, unfortunately, the, the, the user interface is still kind of all over the map. And many people ask, well, why don't you document it? Why don't you send feedback? Um, because Microsoft isn't paying me. <laughs> That's kind of the bottom line. I can spend a lot of time doing it, but there's really no point to, to doing that. If you do want to send feedback to Microsoft, the cool thing is, is you can download the beta build, install it on a compatible computer. If I can try to double click there. Is, oh, finally we opened. Uh, and then inside of every window, there's a, a, a feedback link. And then you can give direct feedback on uh, just about any part of Windows 7, uh, give it a star ranking, uh, type in feedback, you know, key it in, say exactly what you were expecting or whatever, and send the feedback. Now, allegedly, Microsoft will be looking at it, uh, which is kind of nice to hear. Uh, so Windows 7 is worth trying, if nothing else. Uh, don't let anything stop you. Find a knockaround computer, or you know maybe you want to dual boot between the the machine that you have now. Um, I know there are going to be a lot of issues that are going to be found throughout the OS, especially as you use it on a regular basis. But I'd be interested in hearing uh, your favorite parts of Windows 7 as uh, you've used it, and uh, maybe even some tips and tricks that you've uncovered. Uh, it's kind of fun to play with a new operating system. Doesn't matter who releases it, really. And as a matter of fact, if you didn't notice, I'm wearing my Longhorn cap. Man, if you want to, that was pain. If you want to know pain, it's when we realized that everything that we saw in the preview of Longhorn wasn't ever going to come into being. That sent a lot of geeks into depression. And I still uh, wear my Longhorn cap proudly. And no, it's not for sale. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Of course, you're also welcome to stop by our community of geeks to share tips and tricks and talk about Windows 7. You're also welcome to stop by our chat room and I... I'm pretty sure that in every other minute someone's going to be asking a question about Windows 7. Well, you can ask me or just try it yourself. I mean, it's free to try. Microsoft's giving it to you. The beta builds. Grab a copy. I don't know what you're waiting for. You can ask me many questions. You can ask me what I think about it. I think it's worth trying. That's my answer to the question. Uh, but if you want to join us in the chat room, swap tips and tricks, maybe ask a few installation questions or what have you, help other people uh, with uh, Windows issues, you're more than welcome to. We're typically talking tech 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.